It's alright by me, yeah. I'm a tiger. Heather. Hello? Heather. Hello? Come, come on out. You're, you're, you're creeping me out. Heather, it's me. Your sweet tooth. You, you've got to be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. Now feed me. I'm sorry. I'm giving up the whole white refined sugar thing. Ah, I can't. Yes, you I shall. Can't. Oh God! Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 treaty. Who? Okay. Yeah, Don't do I that. Really got your uh, um. How about how about pie? It's getting better. Cherry pie. Deal with that, I guess. Okay, we can do this. You heard me. The girl with the sweet tooth is making a um, a dish that does not have white sugar in it, white refined sugar. Instead, I'm going to be um, switching it with a more natural sweetener. Um, if you haven't you know, heard already, white refined sugar is actually pretty, pretty bad for you. It's been linked to diabetes, um, gosh, uh, it's bad for your teeth, it's been linked to even cancer, so, um, not that great of a thing to take in quite a bit of. Um, I'm going for a natural sweetener called agave nectar. It comes from the agave plant, um, same thing they use to make tequila. <laughs> but it's actually um, completely natural, uh, really sweet, sweeter than sugar. Um, and you can you know use less of it than sugar. It doesn't have one of those weird aftertastes that you get in artificial sweeteners, and it's and it's better for you than an artificial sweetener, honestly. Um, yeah, it tastes really good, kind of like honey, actually. But you can bake with it better than honey, um, so it's it's really really nice to have. Um, so I guess let's start uh, making this pie. Sugar. Oh shush. Now we're going to start off here by taking our dough and putting it into a pan. You see here I have a stove um, pie pan. Beautiful color. Love this color green. Yeah, I bought it to um, match my kitchen at the time. It's a different kitchen but I still love it. Great price too um, for stove. I mean good quality. Good good quality. Um, we're going to start off by um, taking the dough that is in the pan. Now for this you can use um, either your favorite pie dough recipe or um, just your favorite prepared pie dough. <laughs> so we're going to brush this with one egg and one tablespoon of water that's mixed. This is just going to make the crust extra awesome. <laughs> the egg wash here. Just gonna brush it with my ISI baster brush. This thing comes in so much handy. It is awesome. Brush him down. Now that we've got them all nice and brushed down, just gonna put it in the refrigerator while we work on our filling. To get stiff. <laughs> now, as you can see here, I've got some awesome cherries. Oh my god, real cherries are so good compared to just those maraschino cherries. Those aren't real cherries. I don't consider them cherries. <laughs> 
but um, we're going to have to pit four cups of these and I'm going to show you how with my new toy the Queasy Pro Cherry Pitter isn't that neat? I'm going to start off here by just removing the stem put that in a little bowl for discarded parts like the pit and the stem and I'm just going to take this delicious cherry put it directly down right there see it just sits all nice and pretty and squeeze and it's as easy as that and it just went right on through pit's gone yay happy cherry put it in my measuring cup I'm gonna do a whole bunch more of these <laughs> four cups and then we'll get started on the next step for our filling now that we've got four cups of delicious cherries pitted <laughs> we're going to finish the rest of our pie filling right here I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour and a fourth a teaspoon of salt Add that in there. Two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. A fourth a teaspoon of almond extract. And our cup of agave nectar. Let's get that all nice out of that anchor caulking measuring cup here. Oh yeah. Mm. Alright. Just gonna mix this all together. Do, 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 do. Now I've let this sit for five minutes. We're just going to pour it into our pie crust. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, that looks good. Put those nice yummy juices and such in there as well. Oh, yeah. Smooth that on down in there. And I've got two tablespoons of butter here cubed up. I'm just going to distribute those across the top of the pie. Why? Because butter tastes awesome. <laughs> it's really good in pies. Now if you want to make this a, a pie with a top, just take your dough and um, lay it across the top, uh, egg wash it like the other. Um, we're going to pop this into the oven for 20 minutes. Now we've come to the 20 minute mark with our pie. I've taken it out. And you'll see the crust is beginning to brown all nice. We are going to now put aluminum foil over the edges of our pie. And this, this will help to keep it from browning much further. So you've got to still cook it for another 20 minutes. I'll finish putting on this aluminum foil, pop it in for 20 more minutes, and then it should be done. Okay, I've pulled it out of the oven, and I'm impatient, so I'm eating it right away. You really want to set this and um, let it cool to the side for a while, for, for a while and uh, it'll be a lot more solid. I've got mine kind of torn apart, but I'm just impatient and so is Sweet Tooth. So, so I'll just take a nibble of this. Mmm, it is so good. Mm. This is actually pretty good. I told you so.